Welcome to Engineering Funda family. This video is a part of Network Theory lecture series and in this video I will be going to explain you quality factor in series RLC circuit. Now before I explain you how to identify quality factor in series RLC circuit, first of all you should know what is quality factor. My dear students, quality factor explains you a ratio of center resonant frequency with respect to bandwidth of the circuit. And there are some other definitions even which is there with quality factor like it is initial energy stored with respect to energy lost in one cycle. But here we are not deal with to calculate that in this way. So I'm not going in that basic definition. But I'll tell you quality factor calculation in electrical network that will be as per center frequency that will be resonant frequency divided by bandwidth of the network. At last we will discuss about what are the applications which is there with quality factor so that you can understand how to use quality factor in electrical network. So if you observe here, I have shown two different graphs with two quality factors. By this black color, we have low quality factor response and by this gray color, we have high quality factor response that I'll explain you even physically. So let us try to understand that by mathematical calculation. So quality factor that is center frequency that is resonant frequency divided by bandwidth that is delta omega. Now if you observe here, you see by this black color, we have this much bandwidth, you see, let us say this is bandwidth 1 and center frequency is omega 0 only. But if you observe by this gray color, we have this much amount of bandwidth, you see, half power bandwidth is this much. Let us say this is bandwidth 2 and center frequency is same. So what it indicates, you see, for high quality factor, we have omega 0 divided by lower bandwidth. And for low quality factor, we have omega 0 divided by high bandwidth, right. So that is how by graphical understanding, you can understand whether quality factor is high or low based on frequency response, right. Now for series RLC circuit, let us identify what is this quality factor. So we should know for series RLC circuit, I have already derived both of these formulas. Omega 0 that is 1 by square root of LC and omega naught that is R by L. So if you simplify this, then you will be having 1 by R into, you see this square root of L will get cancelled and in numerator now there will be square root, right. So you will be having quality factor that is 1 by R into square root of L by C. So this is very essential formula that you must remember for solving questions, right. So this is a basic formula of quality factor for series RLC circuit. Now my dear students, there are few essential things that I would like to explain regarding quality factor. You see, if you have quality factor that is less than half. So if quality factor is less than half, you can say that your system is over damped system. So quality factor can also justify whether given system is over damped or under damped. If this quality factor that is greater than half, then you can say your system is under a damp system. And if quality factor that is equals to half, in that case, you can say given system is critically damped system. So here we have series RLC circuit, which is our system. So sometimes you may be given with quality factor and they may be writing that given system or given circuit is under damp circuit. What it means, this Q is less than half. And if Q is less than half in that case, you may need to identify relation of R, L and C with each other. So this type of questions may be coming. In my next video, what I'll do is, I'll explain you how to identify relation of this Q factor with damping factor. My dear students, damping factor that you will be studying in great detail with control system or control engineering. But here you should know what is damping factor in with respect to circuit. 
so for that in next video i'll explain you how to derive relation in between quality factor and damping factor so that it will be crystal clear to you how relations are there with equations